between 14th and 16th July 2025, India reportedly conducted a successful test of a hypersonic cruise missile capable of reaching Mark 8 under Project Vishnu. The missile is three times faster than the world's fastest Brahmos cruise missile. India's defense ecosystem is currently undergoing a significant transformation with Project Vishnu at the forefront. This classified initiative, led by the Defense Research and Development Organization, is a strategic leap for India. Project Vishnu aims to develop the extended trajectory long-duration hypersonic cruise missile, a weapon system that will fundamentally enhance India's strategic capabilities. With its hypersonic speeds, advanced stealth characteristics, and multi-platform adaptability, Project Vishnu positions India among the leading nations in hypersonic technology alongside the United States, China, and Russia. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. We request our viewers to please subscribe this channel. Project Vishnu represents India's ambitious effort to create an indigenous hypersonic missile. It combines cutting-edge material science, advanced propulsion systems, and precision-guided technology. With a range of 1500 km, extendable up to 2500 km for a surface-to-surface -surface configuration, the missile would have the capacity to penetrate deeply into adversary territory targeting essential assets such as radar systems, command centers, and naval vessels. Its adaptable nature with launching capabilities from land, aerial, or maritime platforms would constitute a significant advantage, ensuring operational versatility across various scenarios and enhancing India's strategic reach. The core of the extended trajectory Long-distance hypersonic missile is its indigenous scramjet engine, a key technological breakthrough. This engine utilizes atmospheric oxygen for combustion, thereby markedly improving fuel efficiency and facilitating sustained hypersonic flight. The propulsion system enables the missile to sustain speeds that surpass conventional air defenses while covering extensive distances making it a formidable weapon in India's arsenal. The missile's airframe would be assembled with heat-resistant materials capable of enduring temperatures up to 2000 degrees centigrade, generated by the intense friction associated with hypersonic travel. Furthermore, it would incorporate oxidation-resistant coatings to ensure durability in challenging environments, such as exposure to seawater or prolonged sunlight, making it suitable for naval deployment. The ET-LDHCM is not just about speed and range, it also boasts formidable stealth capabilities. Operating at low altitudes, it significantly reduces radar detectability. Its mid-flight maneuvers further enhance its capacity to evade missile defense systems. The plasma stealth effect, a result of ionized air at hypersonic velocities, absorbs radio waves, thereby further reducing its radar cross-section. This comprehensive stealth package ensures that the extended trajectory, long-distance hypersonic cruise missile's ability to execute rapid, deep penetration strikes with precision and confidence. The missile would be capable of carrying payloads ranging from 1000 to 2000 kilograms which may include conventional or nuclear warheads, thereby providing strategic flexibility for both tactical applications and deterrent purposes. Project Vishnu reflects India's aspiration to develop hypersonic missile systems capable of delivering rapid, precise, and virtually unstoppable strikes. The project is a natural evolution from India's prior successes in missile technology, including the BrahMos Mark III, Shorya missile and the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle or HSTDV. However, Vishnu represents a quantum leap, not just an iteration. The hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle, successfully tested in recent years, demonstrated India's ability to sustain hypersonic speeds, which is above Mark 5, using an indigenous scramjet engine. A 1000 second ground test of the scramjet engine marked a significant milestone, paving the way 
for the extended trajectory long distance hypersonic cruise missiles development. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles, hypersonic cruise missiles like the ETLD HCM combine extreme speed with low altitude flight and mid course maneuverability, making them nearly impossible to intercept with current air defense systems. Project Vishnu positions India among a select group of nations possessing operational hypersonic capabilities. The United States, China and Russia have dedicated substantial resources to similar technological advancements with differing levels of success. India's indigenous methodology, however, distinguishes it by minimizing dependence on foreign technology and enhancing its strategic autonomy. The project represents a strategic initiative in direct response to the evolving security challenges within India's neighboring region. The progress made by China in hypersonic weaponry including the DF-21D and DF-26 missiles has heightened regional concerns regarding power estimates. The missile's capacity to execute rapid deep penetration strikes significantly enhances India's deterrence posture, allowing for the neutralization of threats with precision and expedience. Beyond its military significance, Project Vishnu has far-reaching implications for India's aerospace and civilian sectors. The advancements in hypersonic propulsion, material science and guidance systems could enhance satellite launch capabilities, reducing costs and increasing access to space. Economically, the project stimulates India's defense industrial ecosystem, involving private firms and MSMEs creates opportunities for innovation, skill development, and export potential. Through the utilization of indigenous innovation and the promotion of public-private partnerships, the project not only fortifies national security, but also promotes progress in the aerospace and civilian sectors. As India prepares for the 2025 testing phase, Project Vishnu exemplifies the country's commitment to safeguarding its interests and asserting its presence on the international stage. Jai Hind!